you are Puerto Rican, you should know who this man is. This is Tite Alonso Curet. For 20 years in Puerto Rico, he worked at the post office. But the fire to write music was always inside him. And he ended up writing the song Efectivamente, which became a hit. That he ended up on the radar of Celia Cruz, La Lupe, Hector Lavoe, Ruben Blades, and many other salsa artists. In total, he wrote over 2,000 salsa songs, most of them becoming hits. And he used his talents to celebrate the blackness of Puerto Rico. Oftentimes using his talents to talk about the displacement of black Puerto Ricans and the systemic oppression that they went through. Because of bad contracts, Tite ended up signing deals that mostly benefited record labels. And for over a decade, his music was banned from the radios of Puerto Rico due to copyright laws. In 2003, Tite died of a massive heart attack while in Maryland. His body was laid in state in Puerto Rico, and today he's celebrated through this statue.